Hi, this is your host, Crane Room Gary, saying welcome to my YouTube channel. Crane Room Gary, Detroit Mackinac Railway, a Crane Room Gary production. Model glue test for model railroaders. Testers clear versus Wathers go versus Gorilla sealant. This is a model glue test for model railroaders. So all aboard for the adventure with Train Room Gary. All right, I want to show you again a little quick review here. There are four screws that hold this roof on, and once you get the four screws removed, you got to get the roof off. Well, there's a little trick to that. Your left hand is over here and it forms an L, and this is my right hand and the L is backwards. So my left hand's on the left side, right hand's on the right hand, and my left hand is going to turn this way, which would be clockwise. Right hand's going to turn counterclockwise, and watch how the roof comes off, just gently. There it is. The roof is off. And that's all there is to it. In the last video, I used cyanacrylate, also known as uh, super glue. This is medium with a gap filler. I'll leave a link in the description uh, where how to find that video. All right, I got the roofs off, and I'm ready to do three cars at once. But this time, I'm going to use different types of glue for each car. All right, I have three cars and three types of glue. This first glue we'll be using is Testers, and it's called Clear Parts Cement Window Maker. It's non-toxic and dries clear as glass. This Testers glue has kind of like a long needle out. It looks like it'd be good to get down to the passenger cars. Just going to trim out this tip a little bit so the glue can flow out. And also comes with a little top here. Put the top on, and then we'll start putting those figures in. Alright, let's put some glue on this guy. And we'll be this again while using the testers. And I'm just going to put some glue on his backside here. On Donna's leg so it gets, hits the seat. I'll also put some on the seat and then drop them in. All right, now I'm going to put some uh, glue on the seat. And once again, check the figure out. If it looks good, we'll put them in and then kind of do some fine tuning here after he drops in. Make sure he stays put. pretty good. So we got that guy in. Alright, there's a guy we just uh, dropped in. Looks pretty good. And we'll just keep going on down to get them all in. Okay, the uh, glue has dried overnight. Looking pretty good. Have them all seated. But right before I went to bed last night, I took this glue here. It's got this long like a needle nose on it. I went in behind the figures here and I dropped some glue behind their backs. And this stuff was transparent so you can really go in there and reinforce things. So we're going to run a test to see how this glue worked. You know I've been wiggling the little figures and there's no signs of wiggle. So let's do the big test here. Let's just grab this car and flip it upside down, give it a little shake, rock and roll here. Everything seems to be holding in this car. Now I'll run this car for a while, but let's move on to the next glue we'll be using, which will be the Wathers Goo. All right, the arrangement is a little different in this car. This is a sleeping car. Right now it's set up for day use. This is the long hallway back here where the people walk to get to these little rooms. And I have four people seated in this little bedroom, I guess you could call it in one of the Amtrak terms, but this is right now set up for day use. So I'm going to go ahead and put the people in, and in this case, I'll be using this Walters Goo. And this glue just comes in like a little toothpaste thing. I'm going to drop it in here, make a little puddle. Look at that stuff, it's kind of stringy. It's in a, it's a rubber cement family. Let me get this off to the side. I want to put on some rubber gloves for this project. Let's go ahead and let's get one in and see what happens. Alright, I made my puddle of glue here on the seat. 
let's bring her in and drop her in. I got some on her back and on, a, on the bottom of her shoes. There it is. I'm gonna do it a bunch more times and I'll bring you back. All right, I did get a little glue on the window. I'm gonna use the Q-tip and that glue came right off this 91% isopropylene alcohol removed the glue off the window. So it is, make a mistake, you can uh, get this up off, off the windows. Okay, I wanna add some glue to the seat and also to the back of the figure and wait two minutes. This kind of stuff is like a contact cement. And that waiting process turns into like a double bubble gum and uh, makes it stick better. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll take this little figure here and I'll put some glue on the back of her and set my stopwatch for two minutes. She'll become gooey, the seat will become gooey, and we'll have a bond. All right, it's been two minutes. You can see my puddle of glue here on the seat. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop the lady in here and kind of give her a little nudge. And she has glue behind her. I want to get, like, get kind of like a bubble gum effect. Let's kind of work her in there. You got a few minutes to mess with her. And there you go. All right, I got all the figures in the sleeping car. See how they're arranged here. Now over here I want to do some standing figures, but I didn't have any standing figures, so I trimmed the legs on some of these seating people and made them into standing people. A seated figure. We're gonna cut her shoes off so she fits better. I made a little bit of her ankles. And there you got her. And then you come back with the Dremel tool and do a little cleanup. This will look just fine in those cars where the figure is uh, below the window line. But in a dome car, could be an issue because you might be able to see it through the top glass. All right, I got all the figures in now. I got them all seated in these day position for the sleeper car. These should be standing figures over here. I ran out of standing figures, so I kind of turned my legs off these and turned them into uh, standing figures. They look pretty good. I'll show you the window view. All right, here's a look at the uh, kind of fake standing figures. They look pretty good, they'll work. All right, I got all the figures in using this uh, Walther's Goo or Goal, G-O-O. -O. Let's flip it upside down. Looks pretty good, nothing's falling out. We'll consider that a success. Now let's move on to the next one. The next one we're gonna be using uh, Gorilla. Last test, we'll be using Gorilla clear sealant, and I'm going to take my hand, a little hand drill here, and drill a hole in the end of this. So I have a very teeny opening for the glue to come out. We don't need, need bundles of it. Got that set up. Just take the top off this. Let's put this on first and spin it this way. There you go. I'm ready to get started with using Gorilla Glue or Gorilla Sealant 100% silicone. This will also dry clear too, which will make it looking good when these go in. So this will be the third and final test. This is going to be in a Union Pacific Daylight Coach car. All right, let's. Uh, I got one roll here. These people are already set to go. Let's roll here. Let's add another roll. But I'm, I kind of got a system here for going a little faster. These guys here are all dry fitted. So I'm gonna pop these guys out and just set them aside in the order they were sitting because they fit good. And I'm gonna go ahead and then take the clear glue from Gorilla or clear silicone adhesive, which is gonna act like a glue. And all I'm gonna do is take this stuff and spray a puddle on the seat, in the back of the seat. And I said, this stuff's gonna buy dry clear. You don't need to have it for perfect. But you see this stuff coming out of there? And I'm gonna do it for each seat. Then I'll come back and then add the figures. So you're just gonna put a puddle on each seat so it kind of oozes around the figures. 
So I'll put the glue down, the camera down, I'll come back after I get all these guys glue in there, ready to go. So I'll be right back. All right, I got all the figures in. Take a quick look. And uh, what we're gonna do here is, we'll let this glue dry overnight, maybe come back and do some touch up. Give it the upside down test. A little shake, rattle and roll and see how the glue holds. Then we'll come back and talk about which glue is the best. Well, we just finished last the three car set here using this uh, Grillo sealant clear. Let's do our test. Now we can always tell people if the train can swing around, let these guys come loose. Then we'll take the car, flip it upside down. A okay. Let's put the roofs on and let's pick out the winners and losers. All right, got the roofs on. Basically, you just gently push on them and they snap into place. And there's four screws for each car. All right, I have the uh, car's roofs back on, all the screws put back in. And I made these little tags here. This one says Grillo 100% clear. And I use this transparent tape so as a car ages it won't you know crack off this stuff lasts just about forever so got them all marked up each car has got a little tag on it and I'm ready to do some testing We'll be uh, testing these seated passenger figures in these Union Pacific passenger cars by using a UP F3 ABA unit from Rail King. And we'll also be using the DCS Wi Fi from MTH Trains. So let's start up the uh, Wi Fi system by hitting the green startup. To check the horn before I take off. We have a horn. Let's check the bell. Bell looks okay. Let's get a little bit of throttle. Got a gap. Stop the train. I went to my local Ace Hardware store and picked up these clamps. The clamps will solve the issue. There are two spreader clamps and two bar clamps. The bar clamps will be used to fix this. Take the bar clamps, put them on left and right hand side of the car, let the let the car sit overnight, and the gap will be gone, and away we go. This completes the testing. This video is a little bit on the long side because it's a how-to video. I'd like for you folks uh, to leave comments in the comments section of what type of glue you prefer to use. Let's kind of go back over this again and I'll point out the winners and losers to you. The first one we used was the testers and that was the uh, non-toxic clear available at hobby shops. The second one was Wather's Gold or Goo. It's kind of like a rubber cement I always say this is a no-go for the goo or go. 
The one I really like is the Gorilla Sealant because it was clear this type of adhesive is used in fish aquariums to bond the corners of the glass together. Extremely strong, it doesn't show in the uh, cars. My last video I used, uh, my local hobby shop uh, has the super glue and uh, with gap filler and that's also really good. So look at one of my last videos you want to see a whole video done with super glue with the gap filler. And this one here is last two but I didn't talk about this. This one here is also available at, at uh, hardware stores like both these are. This concludes the testing. I'd like once again I'd like to hear from you folks down in the comments section on which glue you prefer to use on your model railroads. And this is uh, Train Room Gary saying thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, cheers from Detroit and Mackinac Railway. The icon on the left is the video about how to use super glue to install seated figures. So take a look at that video. And the icon on the right is the automatic subscribe button. So once again, this is Train Room Gary saying thanks for watching.